guys welcome back uh, to the last episode of this series um, I pretty much uh, finished the trailer and then I had it um, um, wait and it turned out to be exactly 4,500 pounds uh, just like uh, I expected and um, and then I loaded up the buggy and took it for a test drive about an inch and a half on each side and it fits through the door, no problem. Tie downs work good. I still have plenty of room here to build my cabinets. I even put the camper on so I wanted to check to see if it how nice it tows with a camper and it works really good I, I installed my new weight distribution hitch it's uh, an Anderson slight modifications to it I just welded the brackets onto the onto the frame instead of bolting them because I have a seven inch frame but works really good it tows really nice too Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is a uh, working day on the toolbox, the front toolbox for the, uh, for the trailer. So uh, yesterday I, uh, I cut off all the pieces and now it's time for me to start tacking them together. And then uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna weld them all together. So this is what I have done so far. This is the bottom portion. Um, the sides are going to come out a little bit to rest on the uh, C-channel. But as you can see, for TIG welding, you have to make sure that the joints are, are pretty close, so there's not a lot of gap. And uh, I guess over practice, I became pretty good with the uh, plasma to get it uh, to grind, uh, to cut very, uh, very clean and straight. You can see they're all tack welded here so I still this is pretty much half of it and uh, this is the lid right here and these are the other pieces so when I cut the aluminum with the uh, with the plasma I get uh, slack I just have to clean them up properly and then it's ready to tack weld okay so uh, I started TIG welding I got the setting settings right but it's going to like take a lot of TIG welding to finish this, probably a couple of hours. It's all built and tack welded and the, and the covers are also built. So all I have to do is just uh, finish welding it now. So the toolbox is all done. I welded it, TIG welded. I still have to put a piano hinge over here and a latch and then it just opens up like that. The upper cabinets are now complete made out of uh, aluminum. I have these nice handles and support lifts. And hinges. Done. And now the only thing left is the lower cabinets. I spent all day working on the uh, on the lower cabinets, and I built the frame out of aluminum angle. So 
I'm gonna have one one compartment here. I'm gonna have the hinges and a handle. This is gonna be my generator compartment. And this here, this is where I'm gonna put the sink. And I'm gonna have two other compartments here. One, the lower one is for the battery and another one for the barbecue and some other stuff as well. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish up the, uh, the aluminum. So the cabinets are com complete, pretty much. Just built the doors out of uh, uh, one eighth aluminum. So this is gonna be my tool box compartment and I have some HMW at the back to, to hold the latch in place. And it doesn't move. This here is uh, the generator compartment. And I'm gonna still install an exhaust fan up, up top, right up there. Electric exhaust fan that's gonna connect to the generator itself. This is a two tier um, compartment. I'm gonna have put a shelf still. And then finally, another two tier compartment, and this is battery so I built a battery mount and I also have the, uh, the strap to hold it in place there go and I had to also put a vent underneath for the um, for the battery compartment so the only thing that is missing right now is basically a, a counter and the counter I decided that's the only piece of wood that I'm gonna have uh, on the trailer but I decided to buy uh, red oak, so a nice piece of wood. It's a plywood, uh, good quality plywood that is, I'm gonna stain and I'm gonna treat for water. And then finally, I'm gonna have my sink. It's a small RV sink that I'm gonna install with a drain, um, drains um, just uh, to the bottom. Uh, it's just basically for washing my hands and face. The cabinets are all done and the counter is finished as well. I still have to put a trim on the front, aluminum trim right here, but everything else is uh, finished and installed. I'm gonna put a, a vise here as well. So I tested the water and it's all working pretty good. So got the water pump. So uh, so the water pump is pressure activated, so it turns off as I as I open the tap. I'm gonna turn it off and it just dumps underneath. So, so it's all done. That pretty much concludes the trailer. I still have a few small details to do, but other than that, it's uh, it's pretty much complete. Okay, so the question now is, uh, now that I'm pretty much finished building this trailer, is uh, was it worth it? Uh, well, it all depends on the personal situation. So if you're looking just uh, to haul some uh, lightweight or regular uh, off-road vehicle or a razor or something lightweight that you don't require anything custom, then probably not. It's not worth building a new trailer. Unless you want to do it, obviously this is your choice, but it's probably cheaper just to buy one that is uh, already used, an enclosed trailer. But if you're hauling something that is uh, heavier and you need uh, drive over fenders and you need the extra amenities that you personally prefer, then yes, if you have the skills and the money and the time, then yes, it's worth it to build uh, a custom trailer just for you. Uh, it was a lot of work. Um, so I spent a lot of hours welding and grinding and fitting. So uh, it's not really easy. It, sometimes the videos makes it easier than it looks, but it's not. It was a lot of work. Uh, so you have to weigh that uh, and take that into account, whether it's worth it for you to uh, build a custom trailer or not. Uh, I'm really happy with the end result. And it did not definitely did not cost me as much money as... Uh, if I had to build, get somebody to build me a custom trailer, obviously, but my time is free. So, and plus I was able 
to build it to exact to my exact specifications and this is something important for me um, uh, so you have to weigh in the options and decide whether it's worth it for you or not it might be or it might might not be so it, it all depends on the situation uh, but I had a lot of enjoyment uh, building this per particular trailer. If I had to build it for somebody else, it would have been a different story. I wouldn't have had as much motivation to get it finished. Uh, so, like I said, you have to weigh in all the options for you and decide whether it's worth it uh, or not. Thank you for watching this series and uh, make sure to like, subscribe and comment if you have any comments. I'll, uh, I'll probably make another uh, video later on just to show you some of the extras that I've done and after I had a chance to test, test it off-road uh, on an off-road trip.